Kerry Bullivant knows precisely what it means to be placed under a control order. In June 2006, the young Muslim convert was deemed a security risk in the United Kingdom because of his association with the brothers of a jailed would-be bomber. Britain's domestic security service, MI5, argued it had reasonable suspicions he planned to fight in Iraq. Much of the evidence against him was kept secret. The conditions of a control order con do exactly what they say on the tin. They control you. They control and dominate every aspect of your life. It left me depressed and it leaves you without feeling that you've got any hope. It puts you in this dark place where it corners every aspect of your life. I mean, you're being accused of terrorism, you don't even know why. And presumably you're beginning to feel pretty guilty. At any stage during this process, were you made aware of the evidence that they had against you? That's the silly thing. You never know what, they, what you're being accused of. You know what your accusation is, but you don't know why. Bullivant's control order was overturned last year. The High Court judge said there was no reasonable suspicion against him. Thursday's decision goes further. From now on, control orders based on secret evidence will be open to challenge. The government says they exist to protect the public against security suspects who can't be tried or deported because of evidence that can't be used. The House of Lords now says that's a breach of human rights. More fundamentally, others would argue it's a breach of the basic legal principle that one is innocent until proven guilty. It may be aimed at prevention, but the fact is that these people have been made subject to measures which are, in effect, criminal punishment without the benefit of criminal trial. I've never met a terrorist that I'm aware of in my entire life. I've been through a lot, but I would never, ever be involved in terrorism or have anything to do with terrorism. Britain's Interior Ministry, or Home Office, said it was extremely disappointed with Thursday's ruling. From now on, the government will have to think twice before relying on secret or sensitive evidence in support of a control order. Unless, that is, it's prepared to present that evidence in open court. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London.